Hey guys, it's Lauren and welcome back to my channel for the love of if you are joining me for the first time I want to say welcome and thank you for taking the time to click on this Halloween candle review And if you're a returning viewer or subscriber, welcome back So you guys I know it is still very very much summer out there But we are all diving into fall and Halloween candles So I'm super excited to have gotten my hands on not one but two brand new upcoming Halloween fragrances from none other than Colonial Candle. I burned Colonial in the past and after watching this review, if you're interested, either hop over to their website and I also have some fun unboxing candle reviews uh, from Colonial. I think I did them about a year ago or so, but I do still have those up on my channel if you're interested on some other reviews on their products. But you guys, let's dive into today's video. Before I dive into this, you guys, I do want to mention those of you who have burned Colonial in the past. They are typically in a glass oval type jar with this gorgeous glass lid. This version is actually a three wick smooth wax version. Both of them are. So they may look a little different than what you are used to seeing from Colonial. But let me read you the notes and I'm going to give you guys my thoughts on the performance. So there's two candles. First and foremost, we have Jack-O-Lantern, and I don't know if it translates on video, but this is this gorgeous, like, bright orange, definitely very Halloween-feeling packaging. My favorite part, though, those of you who love lids like me, I actually save the lids for my candles if they're, you know, cute enough. Look at this little cobweb lid. How cute is that? You could almost use it. If you'd have like a Halloween party or something or save these, you could use it as a little coaster. How cute is that? So I'll definitely be saving these. So let's dive into the scent notes on Jack-O-Lantern. So the scent notes for Jack-O-Lantern include top notes of Bing, Cherry, Pumpkin Puree, and Squash Blossoms, mid notes of Cinnamon Sticks, Clove Buds, and Nutmeg, and then base notes of Brown Sugar, crushed pecan, maple, and French vanilla. So a lot of scent notes going on in there. Just to simplify it for you guys, I would say 90% of the fragrances I'm getting while I'm burning this is just like a straight up pumpkin puree, um, almost as if you're making like a pumpkin pie. When you add the nutmeg and the cinnamon, a little bit of clove, just a very, very straight pumpkin puree fragrance. It's really fitting. I know it has the Halloween packaging may limit it in regards to burning this seasonally or having it out, you know, if you have company over or whatever, since it is Halloween packaging. You could burn this throughout fall, Halloween, and even into Thanksgiving with the pumpkin. The one thing I wanted to note on there is that when you are... If you guys are thinking of purchasing this, if you're looking at the notes online, it does say that it has maple in it. I have to be honest, I, I don't get any maple. So I know that could be a good thing or a bad thing. Some of you do not like maple. So if you don't like maple, don't let that scent note deter you. I really didn't get any maple. While burning, it just smells like a pumpkin puree with cinnamon and some spices. You really do get the fresh pumpkin puree note though. That would probably be the strongest with a little bit of cinnamon and nutmeg. It's a gorgeous scent. And between the two candles that I burned, surprisingly, because I'll show you the other one in a minute, this one actually threw a little bit more for me than the, um, the other one, the Graveyard Fog. One to 10, 10 of course being super crazy strong. I'd say this is coming in at like a solid seven and a half, eight. I did have it in the open concept and it did fill up the room. Beautiful, beautiful scent. I will most certainly be using this and I will most certainly be purchasing another one. I just think it's gorgeous and I think the scent is very versatile. So you're not limited to Halloween with this fragrance. Now the burn time on these, and I found this interesting. So they're 14.5 ounces three wick smooth wax which I believe their traditional style is more of a paraffin wax you guys can correct me if I'm wrong on that but the burn time on this is 50 hours so I haven't been able to review that obviously because I haven't burned it all the way through but you are getting a little more burn time than like say a Bath and Body Works candle um, 
this didn't take too long to pull out either I'd say after I lit it probably within 10 minutes 15 minutes I started to smell it um, and then after a good 30 45 minutes it pulled out and I could smell the fragrance so if you guys are into pumpkin-y fall type fragrances I would give jack-o-lantern a try now the second candle that I tried and again gorgeous cute little cobweb lid on there again cute little cup holder coaster for Halloween is graveyard fog so look at the packaging on this it's so sleek I really do enjoy the packaging on this one very very fitting for if you're one of those people that loves 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 Halloween and maybe does like a Halloween party or maybe you guys sit on the porch and hand out candy to trick-or-treaters this scent would be incredibly fitting for having company over or having a Halloween party or when you're handing out candy. Mainly because the main note in this, at least the main thing, 90% of what I smelled while burning was licorice. I'm going to read you guys the scent notes in a moment. Again, no issues with the burn, smooth wax. I did have to trim the wicks a little bit um, just because they mushroom topped. Not awful or horribly, but just so it didn't fall into the wax in the next upcoming burn. But I do that with most candles anyways, so no big deal on that. No tunneling, and it pulled out very quickly. Let me read you the notes for Graveyard Fog. So the notes for Graveyard Fog include sweet orange, candied ginger, black licorice, basil leaf, and a base note of vanilla. I gotta tell you guys, when I smelt it on cold, I thought it was gonna just be a crazy, crazy strong, just black licorice scent. I would say while burning, that's about 90% of it. But that being said, well burning and and I'm someone and I know some people either love licorice or you hate licorice so this can be kind of a polarizing fragrance one I think it's an amazing novelty type fragrance two I might be a little biased because it's kind of a nostalgic type scent for me my father loved candies sweets and he loved black licorice so for me I feel like during Halloween time this would be really fitting to have burning in the background um, to kind of give your room just like a nice kind of candied Halloween feel. It's not like a smoky scent. I thought it was going to be like a smoky kind of licorice scent. It's very much so a candied black licorice fragrance. I thought it was going to be incredibly, incredibly strong just because of the licorice. While it is strong and 90% of it is licorice, it's almost... I had it in my open concept and when it kind of um, started throwing and got kind of diluted with whatever the other notes are in here like the vanilla and they said Bing cherry which I don't get much of a cherry note but it really had more of a backdrop type fragrance I feel like this would be really well suited like I said if you have company over or you're doing a Halloween party or maybe you have other candles going and you want like a little bit of a fun candied fragrance in the background this would be perfect I was just really surprised that it wasn't crazy crazy strong which is not a bad thing because you don't want a crazy strong licorice fragrance I think it's a nice addition I think it would be fun I also think it's just a really cool novelty scent I have several candles that I purchased for the sheer purpose of just because they were interesting novelty type scents that I've maybe burned a couple times this is one of those really interesting ones I don't know if I've ever seen a licorice candle before but I think it's a really fun idea so if you guys are into licorice and you are having say maybe a Halloween party or anything like that I think this would be a really fun candle to grab plus the packaging is absolutely darling so and again those little lids on these are just super cute so you guys that is it for me if you guys have burned any of these candles and also if you guys have burned any candles from colonial comment down below I'm curious to see what your favorite fragrances are and again if you guys are interested in more reviews on colonial candle I do have several reviews up from last year I think it was around last summer I have an unboxing and I think two or three reviews up from colonial candle so you guys that is it for me today before I sign off I want to let you know I am on Instagram come find me at life l i f e underscore with w i t h and the letter L. If you follow me, I will most certainly follow you back. And you guys, comment down below with your favorite colonial fragrances or any of your favorite fall slash Halloween fragrances. You guys, as always, I hope you're having an awesome day, an awesome evening, an awesome weekend. 
whatever time it is you're watching this video. Until next time, we'll see you later. Bye guys.